All right, we're in the eighth video of 12, and we're talking about power pitching mechanics, the mechanics, uh, the movements of these high velocity pitchers, what they're doing and what they do well. And now we're going to talk about hip to shoulder separation. We just talked about scap load and the inverted W. Inverted W is something that we don't want to be in. Uh, scap load is a good thing. And after we move out of our scap load and our hips start to turn, we're going to get into our hip to shoulder separation. Hip to shoulder separation is when our hips are all the way forward, our belt is going forward, and this is what we're trying to achieve is to get our hips going as far forward as we can at, and our shoulder is still as far back as we can this way. The further separated we can get those two, the more elastic energy we're going to have and we're going to be able to deliver that ball faster. They did a study uh, a few years ago that showed that 80% of your pitching velocity came from hip to shoulder separation. So if you can increase your range of motion and get better with your flexibility, your mobility and put yourself into this position and it also has to do a lot with timing how you're getting to that position. If you can do this and accomplish this and get to a good hip to shoulder separation position and have good timing and sequencing through that and deliver the baseball you're going to be able to increase your pitching velocity. So it's very important, work on it. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions and I'm gonna see you in the next video um, right now.